Hello and welcome to the News Click Studios in Delhi again, where we're talking Indian football. And joining us today are the very handsome and very young Arjun Pandit. And he's joined by Nikhil Nas, both experienced sports presenters and fans of Indian sport. Uh, we're going to be talking about, of course, India versus China, the big game, the biggest game uh, that the Indian national team has had in a while and a creditable performance from India. We are also joined today by Anand Tyagi, who is actually commentating on that game along with uh, former ISL player Ian Hume. So, uh, let's go first and find out what Mr. Tyagi had to say. Yeah, thanks Siddhant and Arjun for having me. Now, what I make of the China game depends on how I look at it. When I was putting my notes together before I went into commentary for China versus India, I was actually quite taken aback by the fact that the Chinese national team hadn't done too well in 2018 under, you know, Marcello Lippi. He's got a great experience uh, of not just winning the World Cup and the Champions League, but also coaching in China with Guangzhou Evergrande. Let's remember he got three Chinese Super League titles back to back, also won the AFC Champions League with them and also got a lot of those players to play for him in this Chinese, Chinese national team, but they weren't doing so well in 2018 and they only picked up two wins. So if I look at it from the point of view that India went to play a side that was struggling in 2018, I would say, okay, good result for India, not too bad. But if I look at it from the flip side of saying India went to play a FIFA official friendly for the first time on Chinese soil, I'd say it is a fantastic result. It's a phenomenal result because the odds were stacked against us. Nobody expected us to even get a draw if we'd, if we'd lost uh, respectively, we would have still taken it on the chin and reasonably well, but that wasn't to be. It was a nil-nil score and yes, we were lucky. Yes, uh, we were fortuitous, but you have to ride your luck in games like these. And I, and I genuinely believe that a decade, decade and a half later, when you look at inflection points, uh, points which led to transition of a national team, I think this game would hold pretty high, uh, uh, hold itself pretty high on that list because these are the kind of games that give you confidence when you go into a tournament like the AFC Asian Cup. If we could hold China to a nil-nil, uh, regardless of their form in 2018 till the 85th minute, hey, we can do this to Bahrain as well. We can do it to Thailand and why not the UAE, the, the hosts as well. Talking about those three sides, while India were busy playing China, these sides were also playing pretty stiff opposition. I think UAE played Honduras, who were ranked above them in FIFA rankings, drew 1-1. Uh, you don't talk about Bahrain, I think they lost 1-0 to Syria at the same time. And Thailand actually hosted Trinidad and Tobago, which is not a bad side at all, and uh, managed to win 1-0. They also travelled to Hong Kong, uh, did Thailand and won 1-0 over there. So it's good to see that India were playing opposition that was much superior to it, at least on paper, maybe not on form on that day. But you've got to thank Gurpreet Singh Sandhu for a, you know, for a man mountain of a goalkeeper that he is, that he actually managed to keep it to nil-nil. Sandeep Singhan was very, very good. Pranoy Halda was fabulous. Anirudh Thapa was good. And a nil-nil scoreline on any day, any time of the week or month when you go to China for the very first time, you take it with both hands, won't you? Anirudh Thapa is a special talent, man. Uh, you... Look at the fact that India were missing somebody like Eugenius and Lingdo uh, and they're still trying to fill his boots. Why? Because he can lie deep, he can, you can be a holding midfielder, he can be a creative midfielder, he can be a box-to-box -box midfielder because of the stamina he has. But nobody's been really able to uh, replace him. Roland Borges came, he's got the legs, he's got the physicality, he got the stamina, but not quite Eugene, right? Pranoy Halder, very, very good player, very effective, puts in a tackle, not shy of putting his body on the line, but not Eugenius and Lingdo again. Uh, with all due respect to their talent and their ability. Anirudh Thapa has possibly come the closest because he is he's a really tenacious player. He he can put in a tackle, he can intercept, he's got he's a very good thinking player. But I remember what Arjun said, and we had this discussion as well, uh, sometime in studio, where we both agreed on the fact that he likes the ball coming to him. He wants the ball. At any point of the game, no matter what the game situation is, he wants to receive the ball. We've seen him do that for Chennai NFC towards the latter half of last season of the Hero ISL, and we're beginning to see it, uh, uh, you know, in, 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 in an India shirt as well. And I think Stephen Constantine, uh, to be fair to him, has spotted it very, very early on in Anirudh's career, which is why he gave him the captain's armband in the SAF Cup, where he essentially took an under-23 team. So Subhashish and Anirudh Thapa were his two regular captains, and uh, getting an opportunity to captain a national team, albeit in an under-23 side, is a massive confidence boost, and it tells you the coach believes in you, and then you start you know, uh, translating that onto your, into your performances on the pitch. He had a decent game. I'd say Pranoy Halda was probably the better partner in midfield, but uh, Anirudh Thapa set up Pritam Kotal very early on in the game, just with the ability to think one step, one and a half steps ahead. He first time released Pritam Kotal uh, in the 18-yard box. If Pritam's shot had not been saved by the goalkeeper, it could have been 1-0 India. And not just that, the tireless work rate, the ability to go back, uh, defend for long periods of time, which takes a toll, toll on your body, and then to move up with purpose, with venom, and to be able to see Sunil and uh, you know uh, Udanta on the right-hand side, it's 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 going to take time for Thapa to really arrive as a midfielder. But 
all the ingredients are right there the vision the ability to to think a couple of steps ahead and of course uh, wanting the ball wanting to be a part of the action to dictate the game that's what you want from your midfielder yeah holy charan nazri is a strange one you know because uh, you know first of all credit to him from uh, where he's come kokrajhar assam to make it to the national team by itself is a massive achievement now has he elapsed his entire ability that uh, has been on display so far maybe yes we maybe we already seen the best of him maybe he cannot be the prolific a goal scorer who can cut in from that left wing that that India need from time to time when JJ and Sunil are not scoring but then you look at uh, somebody like Udanta on the other other wing and he's got the pace to burn of course the fastest in the team without a shadow of a doubt he has also started uh, creating more chances as we saw for Bengaluru FC towards the end of uh, the ISL season i think he had seven assists by the end of the season so Udanta came into his own and which is why the question marks over his place went away which is why the question marks still uh, hover around uh, Halicharan Nazri's place because he's not creating enough he's probably not assisting enough and he's certainly not scoring so that that just that's what creates doubt what are the answers of course Lalan Zuala Changte is is the most obvious answer because if you have Udanta space on the right and this is pace with the ball which is very different from just being quick Changte has that too Changte has plenty of place uh, pace with um, you know with the ball and that's something that India could benefit a lot from is he as good as Nazri defensively to be able to track back to be able to follow what Constantine wants the team to do we don't know because he's not been tested he got a red card i think in the semi final of the saf cup so we didn't really see what he could have done in a high pressure situation at the final but it would have been it would have been nice to see changte uh, you know in a, in a big game like the one against china and hopefully we'll see him in the next friendly that happens in november and if not changte then uh, i know that he's already tried ashik kuruni and has the has the coach but i think it's it's got to be changte it can't be nikhil pujari it can't be ashik kuruni and Uh, because just on pure ability if holichand and nazri's place were to be taken by somebody it's got to be um, changte and if holichand and nazri has to maintain his place then he's got to start creating more and certainly needs to start scoring more all right so that's it from uh, tyagi he brought up some good points there i think guys uh, arjun nikhil you want to take over from what he said about uh, how the team is shaping up and what we can look forward to at the asian cup Yeah, uh, Siddhant. I think uh, the first thing is that uh, before the Asian Cup, January 2019, this is possibly the first time, first 90 minutes where we got to see what India would probably do when they take on the big boys in the Asian Cup in Qatar. And what I was looking forward to, in fact, was the shape and the kind of strategies the team would, you know, adopt playing in the Asian Cup. How they would face China, and the same things were probably replicated going forward. into the asian cup and i was pretty impressed man i know you know of course there were a lot of times when the chinese uh, team breached our defense there were some lacks how do i say lapses of concentration in defense and midfield but oh hona yaar i mean let's let's not forget the difference i know we were only uh, nickel what is the ranking 25 rank 21 is the difference yeah but that doesn't tell you the real yeah. story does it because the yeah. chinese team is way more superior than yeah. the indian team in terms of preparation and how they've come into this game and of course What I was really impressed with was the 4-4-2 is what he adopted with, and the shape maintained for 90 minutes. Yeah. China got clear-cut opportunities, but India were in the game. Yeah. Whatever said and done. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to be very honest. When Stephen Constantine came in 2015, and I remember watching the first few games that that game that they played, World Cup qualifier against Iran, mm. and it's it's one thing losing 3-0, but the Indian team looked like. A, not even a semi professional team because it, all they were doing is was you know a kick about and not actually playing a game so one doesn't really look at the score line but how you really play and do you look yep. uh, you know a professional team that i think I, i didn't have too many expectations from the constantine led team but i have to give credit where it's due what three years down the line this team look like a team that can compete it look like a team of you know 11 professionals playing and and as you were saying about the shape it it was impressive yes china had the chances but uh, At no point could you say that this was a mismatch. I'd say that. Not at all. In fact, you know, when you take cues from the shape, ये देखने को मिला है कि of course you will be putting all men behind the ball. जब आप खेल रहे होंगे versus big boys like China, but as soon as you get the ball, they are going to break with a serious serious pace. But you got Sunil Chetri who is always running. You got JJ Lalpaik Lua who can hold the ball, and you got Udanta Singh who is going to break forward. Now the guy who really binds the three of them together is the guy behind them. That is Anurudh Thapa. and if you saw in the counter attacks that they were making one two touch sidhant nothing longer than that because usse zyada agar aap ball rakhoge then you're giving the chinese opposition chance to get back into their own half take shape and defend against india which is why i feel india's best bet at the asian cup is still the time the opposition is still searching for that first goal 
बिकॉज उसका मतलब ये है कि वो आपके अपने हाफ में आएंगे इन सर्च ऑफ दैट फर्स्ट गोल विच मीन दैट वेन यू डू गेट द बॉल यू हैव अ चांस टू ब्रेक फॉरवर्ड एंड ऑफकोर्स दे विल बी आउट ऑफ शेप एंड थ्री कैन डू वट दे कैन डू so okay fine good good performance and you guys are uh, giving a pretty positive assessment of how the team has done right go india go india yeah. go to yeah. go india to sahi hai lekin uh, ek one of the things that you are talking about in this transition from largely a defensive shape where we are kind of sitting back and absorbing the pressure that the other team is throwing at us right but when you're making that transition you're doing it in these with these 1 2 3 4 slick ground passes right mm. there's not a philosophy of going direct and hitting the ball into space for udanta for udanta to get on to right yeah so what's happening on the break or at least uh what i noticed on a couple of occasions was that when this break happens because udanta has a pace to take on whoever right the ball has to either be played of a certain quality where and a certain weight where he gets to it and <laughs> and it's still in play or their passing is good enough that they can make those little triangles and But create more bhai ha wo banaye the net triangles in fact the first real chance in the game that that came courtesy of good slick one two touch passing i just feel that long ball route that you're saying na that can't be for udanta because udanta doesn't have the experience or the physicality to hold on to that long ball when he's got a physically able defender marking him i feel that long ball strategy which has come from gurpreet is for someone like a sunil chhetri yeah. or a jj lalpaglu and then udanta makes the run off them or fir of course jo aapko open space hai aap kya kar sakte ho dekha jayega so also the other move i think uh, farooq that he missed i yeah. think it was a good pass at the end of the game yeah, at the end of the game i mean so so they did uh, stitch together those three passes or create those triangles as you were saying i mean it, it's a welcome change from what yeah. the indian team used like to be they were do doing what they were yeah. doing there was yeah. a plan and they were executing yeah. it ye thi achhi baat dekhne ko All right. So, so positive performers, top three players for you from the Indian side. पहले बड़े. Okay, I'll start. I think for me, Gurpreet uh, uh, definitely. Though, though I must uh, add a rider to it. You know, uh, I know Gurpreet had an outstanding game, but usually yeah, yeah, yeah. that tends to happen with uh, with teams yeah. that are defending a lot. Uh, I say that about Dheeraj as well. Nothing to take away from from that young lad in the under 17 World Cup, but he was also made to look good because the Indian team in general had to, you know, uh, always be. Uh, soaking up that pressure that you were getting and again similar uh, with with regards to gurpreet because he had so many more opportunities to save it tends to make the goalkeeper look good but uh, that aside i think those two which hit the the post other than that everything else he he, he managed to keep so so i think wo wala goal post gurpreet nikal ke ghar le aaya apne saath yeah. saath mein leke ghumega <laughs> <laughs> so so good preet for me uh tapa i put uh, as number 2 as you know as you were saying someone just right behind the strikers and and giving them those feeds uh, whatever little chances that he had two and i'd probably go with sunil as well as as my third so he, yeah he still remains the number one player and i and 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 you know i'd love to be a fly on the wall of the indian dressing room because i clearly remember when when again i go back to the coach he, when he took over in 2015 the first training session and i went to the ambedkar stadium I, I, the impression i got he he was happy to get rid of sunil chetri right then that is 3 years ago and he thought he he uh, create a new team 3 years down the line he still remains the best player that that india has so so and with news coming in of of you know uh, not everything well between the coach i think he reports hain i think he reports hain to be honest yeah. i feel constantine is a guy who likes uh, rotating his captains and he saw that sure, this is sure, a good sure. good good atmosphere and a good opportunity to give someone new the captaincy possibly it could do him good in the long run no that's, i'm i'm sure my, maybe this is uh, but so there's much, no smoke without fire no but to say that i i will, I will stick by this that he wasn't too keen to continue with sunil chetri at that time for, hmm. for 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 very long he thought that he was done hmm. so so on that front yeah, at the time he, that he came in i think uh, neither of the two were very keen on each other i think i'm pretty sure <laughs> sunil didn't want him to come in as the new coach and uh, and similarly i mean the loudest most powerful voice in the dressing room i guess the one to present the most uh, conflicting ideas to what the coach might suggest especially if i like i personally also feel <laughs> that the coach himself doesn't bring uh, any more experience inter- at the international level to the table than a guy like sunil does to begin with i mean if you had a coach who had played you know even at uh, like taken 3 4 teams to the asian cup 
or played against some of these big teams in Asia. He's play, only played as India manager against these guys. Yeah. So, I mean, from where, Cyprus, se ye, wo experience leke jo hai, I don't know how much that sort of translates to uh, the players imbibing something new or something more. I, in fact, feel like the coaches that are coming into the clubs at, at the ISL stage are giving these guys a lot more confidence and technical uh, technical sort of uh, workouts to make sure that that they can do the, that kind of like one touch one touch play where they are thinking of where the next man is in the larger picture and playing the ball to him and ho- hoping that then things work out. Siddhant and Nikhil, yes. I vehemently disagree. <laughs> well, I agree with him. No, I know, I know you do. But dekho ji, main, the writing is on the wall. Aap, agar aapki team ne pehli bari Asian Cup ke liye qualify kiya itne dino baad, mm-hmm. with the run that they've had, and then to give the performance that they've done versus China, you can't say the coach has had no impact on that, right? It is the, we know what kind of game football is, yeah. Coach makes or breaks a team. The kind of strategies you uh, devise, the kind of strategies you use on the field, the kind of players you want to use on the field, it's all on the coach. So we have to give full credit to Stephen Constantine for bringing the Indian team to where they are. I thought that game versus China, the 90 minutes, if I get to see the Indian team playing like that in the Asian Cup, mind you, irrespective of whether we lose all three games, I'll be a very happy man. No, no so so I think the, the point that he was trying to uh, make is... Uh, uh, Point taken that I think he has improved. I said it myself at the start that you know from where the team was in, in 2015 when he took them over to what the team is looking now. The one that played in 2011, uh, I don't want to use that word, but I mean he was playing against the likes of Korea, but it was yeah. quite embarrassing. Exactly. Australia, yeah. with Korea, Australia, Australia, Australia Bahrain, yeah. it was yeah. like pretty much <laughs> five two, five two. I remember that game. So so in that sense, I, I mean, this is a far better team. But but what I think the point that he's trying to make is that. How do you take this? So, so he took a very pragmatic approach against you know team like China. He yeah. knew at best what to yeah. do. The concentrate on your defense. But that's what we have to do. Correct. But I'm saying, can he take the team forward? As he mentions, there there are slightly better coaches at the ISL yeah. who may have improved some of these players. Which you know the the national coach is enjoying the benefit of those. No, my, my point is, I'm not Asian Cup ke aage sochi nahi raha. See, hmm. I'm saying whatever you want to think of the future of Stephen Constantine. Hmm. Think about it after their performance at the Asian yeah. Cup. Then you can think, will he take us further from here from what we've done at the Asian Cup? But the point being, till the Asian Cup, yeah. given with what he's done with the Indian team to get us to the Asian Cup, and of course, the way the team is playing now, Nikhil said it, man, and I agree with him completely. The 2011 Asian Cup team, as opposed to the team that will play in 2019 Asian Cup, I know they haven't played. Yeah. But the thing is, I feel this team is better prepared oh, yeah. huge, to play at the big stage. Difference. Yeah, huge massively. I had no, do- no disagreement there. My only point of view on that, on this is that I think that that preparation comes from a more sort of professional, more robust uh, club structure in some shape and form being in place in India. Th- but like, a lot of it has in, to do with the coach. In 2011, when we played the, Ash- the Asian Cup, these boys had to, the national team had to spend the whole year travelling around the world playing against whoever would give them a game because they didn't have any level of competition going on. Uh, I mean, this time... It just shows how much we have sort of moved forward that for what it's worth, the establishment, the authorities believe that the match practice that the boys are getting through playing in the Indian Super League because none of our players are playing abroad. So they believe that that is good enough preparation or the best possible preparation that they can have to go into this tournament, which in itself indicates like what they think (laughs) the development is. Do I think that it's good enough? Uh, that's a separate story and we can get into it separately if if we want to. But but I genuinely believe the national team coach has had very little to do with the way the national team is playing. The good thing that he's done, yeah, since you guys want to give credit where it's due, is bring in a lot of new players, get, get, get a much younger, fitter squad going from that point of view where his experienced guys are there. Sunil is there and Sunil is the fittest guy in the team so it helps a lot. Or a couple of guys at the back. But, but the players you bring on at the 70th, 75th, 80th minute are guys who will come on and have that physicality, that, that pace to actually inject some life into the game where India usually was lacking. That would be the point at which opponents would chado on us.
Hmm. Yeah, it'd be interesting to actually listen to the players. I mean, you need to ask a Jingan who has made him the player that he is. What is it? I sell. I sell. No, he may just say his, his time spent with Kerala Blaster. You need to ask a Pritham Kotal who made him. But like, as, as, I don't, as a player, player yeah. see, if you're talking specifically of Sandeep Jingan, uh, when Nikhil was saying the three players that have stood out, I agree with him: Thapa, yeah. Gurpreet, and uh, Sunil. Yeah. Jingan, but Jingan as well. Look, yeah. Jingan yeah. Uh, was all over the place in the first 15 minutes. Nay, bhai, sun le. All over the place have, in the first 15 minutes. He could have got the winner for India. Could have, could have, yeah. But yeah. first 15 yeah. minutes, koi bhi common ball, lamba agar China khil raha tha, unke striker us ball ko aram se le rahe the, and then the midfield from behind was getting on those runs, and of course, two on one situation ho raha tha. But post the first 20 minutes, then Jingan really came into his own, bro. All the long balls that was coming in, there was Jingan who was taking on the Chinese attacker, and the Chinese striker was not a small guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a pretty big, tall guy. And that's the kind of heart you need from him, yeah. So much so that Jingan's heart had then transferred on to Subhashish as well, who is not really a stopper back. But Subhashish was also coming in for those really solid one-on-one -on -one tackles. Huh? So that was really good to see for me. And if you ask Jingan of who's made him the player he is, he'll say it's a mix of ISL. No one is going to disregard what the ISL has done to them because they are using modern training techniques, preparing themselves as better players for the course of six to seven months in a year. Now, yeah. But you cannot disregard what Stephen Constantine has done. You cannot say that this man has not taken us forward, yeah. See, at the end of the day, when you coach ko aap naakte ho, jab kehte ho ki usne kya kya laya hai, aap dekho usne team ko kahan laya hai. He's chosen an approach which not too many other teams have done in the past. Under Bob Houghton, yes, we were trying that long ball rule, but did that, that, that work for us? Yeah. That didn't work for us, yeah. Under Constantine, I can guarantee you for sure, going forward, the long ball route will not be the only route. You get my point? The counter route will be the route where you play it along the ground because he understands that the boys can play it on the ground. Lamba ball, our game is not yet. We are 5 feet 6, 5 feet 7. Ke. So, where will we play? इस बात पे तो हम इस चर्चा करते करते रह सकते हैं पूरा दिन सो वी का यू स्टिक इन विद माय 24 आवर फुटबॉल चैनल या 24 लाइक स्काई स्पोर्ट्स न्यूज़ पूरा दिन बैठ के बात ही करते रहो फुटबॉल के बारे में बट एनीवे योर थ्री प्लेयर्स निखिल सेड आई एम सेम सेम एज निखिल आई एम जस्ट एडिंग संदेश एज़ वेल या आई थिंक ही वाज अ टावर ऑफ अ प्लेयर बिकॉज़ ओनली ही ग्रू इन टू द गेम एंड देन वंस ही ग्रू इन टू इट वो छोड़ा नहीं उसने लगा हुआ लगा रहा एंड दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल टू सी so, a quick question on the subject of goalkeepers. One, what did you guys make of uh, Gurpreet's decision making in terms of coming out and grabbing balls? He's six foot five. There are some of those balls up played into the box that maybe he should, you know, be more in control of. Come out, come off his line a little bit faster and just grab it. In in this match, you're right. Actually, this I think was a criticism that came Gurpreet's way uh, before this match, and I, I would agree with you. I thought I saw an improvement in this particular match. He did those uh, make those. You know, I, I think it's more about confidence. Whether you really want to go for the ball or you want to stay back, I I, I thought that he was a little more confident this time going forward, and he did go in for those. Uh, you know, balls with which which could have been like you know 50-50 situation. He did go for them. I I saw an improvement. Uh, in him in this match compared to how Gurpreet's been in, in previous matches. Yeah, he's a he's a tower of a goalkeeper, man. Six feet five, and of course, uh, no player is the perfect player. You're right, man. Uh, in the past, also we've seen Gurpreet not coming out and catching those balls. Instead, he's going for the punch. But there's nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, just I know since we're talking on the goalkeepers, just one more topic on the team. Where if in the eleven that we saw playing right now, because Subhashish has come in for Anas, I think Anas will come in for Subhashish in the playing eleven. If there is one spot in the playing eleven that is still up for grabs, that I feel is Holly Charan Nazri on the left wing yeah, yeah. of the midfield. So, one player who I feel can come in there because we still have about six months for the Asian Cup or less than that. No, no we have two months. Two months, months yeah. 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 कि नाजरी ऊपर जाएगा नाजरी पीछे जाएगा तो शेप मेंटेन रहेगा चांगटे के साथ वो थोड़ा डर है क्योंकि ये लड़का इतना इंटरनेशनल फुटबॉल एट द सीनियर लेवल खेला नहीं है बट द ब्यूटी ऑफ चांगटे इज गोइंग टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू गोइंग फॉरवर्ड या इन दोस छोटा पासेस ही इज नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ टेकिंग ऑन प्लेयर्स आई फील नाजरी कैन टेक ऑन प्लेयर्स बट ही डजंट हैव द स्पीड एट द इंटरनेशनल लेवल टू गेट पास्ट द प्लेयर व्हाट यू मेक ऑफ जेजे यू थॉट ही वाज अ बिट ऑफ द बॉल आई मीन आई लाइक हिम जेजे इज अ बिट ऑफ द बॉल बट द थिंग इज जेजे इज डूइंग व्हाट ओनली जेजे कैन डू एंड नो अदर प्लेयर इन द टीम कैन डू दैट इज होल्ड द बॉल विद हिज बैक टू द गोल और कोई कर नहीं पाएगा। There is no other striker. I mean, people talk about Balwant Singh, but I still feel JJ is way ahead. And if you see in this game also, Nikhil, like you know, counter पड़ा, रोका ball, he holds the ball for two seconds. उस दो second 
की जो वैल्यू है ना फुटबॉल में बहुत ज्यादा है लाइक वी सॉ इन द चाइना गेम दैट those outlet passes and the chance on goal might well come from an overlapping wing back yeah right whether it's preetham on this side or narayan on the other side or whoever manages to get into that position but the way space will open up it's that player likely to have that that across goal kind of opportunity right what did you make of do you think that these boys are capable are our full backs are capable of uh, sort of tackling that attacking responsibility yeah no no, no I, i mean i think that to play that sort of football uh, it takes years uh, i would imagine i don't think they have the pace also to to do that that may not be the best way for india to go forward i mean just looking at how our football's been there for over the years i mean uh, the the best way uh, if you were to play was maybe the long ball that you you're saying maybe some triangles up in the front uh, uh, but i do not see those uh, you know your left or your right back overlapping dani alves will take a long time for, for india for india to develop no having said that the, the, yeah but uh, but the first real chance for india in that game courtesy came from pritham kotala uh, yeah. udanta had yeah. come inside pritham yeah, came yeah. from the yeah yeah wo aise space shot ha yeah and the goalkeeper made a good save having said that you won't see that too often in a game yaar no no but we often often ki kya baat hai yaar bhai often matlab do ya teen se zyada shot to hame milne wale hai nahi puri game mein nahi jo aap overlap ki baat kar rahe ho often to kuch hone hi nahi wala hai overlap counter pe nahi hota hai overlap tab hoga jab aap ball apne pass rakhoge in possession and then of course that boy from the wing comes inside and the full back comes outside and you take your players with you wo zyada hone nahi wala hai yaar hum zyada possession rakhne nahi wale and i think constantine understands that and that is the beauty of the approach that you understand your limitations and you play according to that next time next time we do this you have to get permission from your employers for for us to bring in some of the footage so that we, we can do a little bit of analysis and actually talk on that basis but ha ji ha ji said no bro said no mana kar diya thousands of crores to aisa karte hain kuch diagram type ka bana lete hain na hum khud hand drawn उससे उससे थोड़ा समझ में आ जाएगा एनी वे आई थिंक वील बी टॉकिंग क्वाइट फ्रीक्वेंटली अबाउट हाउ द टीम गेट्स ऑन पंडित बिटवीन नाउ एंड द एशियन कप निखिल आई डोंट नो हाउ मच टाइम यू हैव टू जॉइन अस सो इन केस वी डोंट चैट अगेन डू यू वांट टू गिव अस अ प्रिडिक्शन और हाउ यू थिंक सी सी द टीम डूइंग एट द एशियन कप एंड विल यू बी देयर विल यू बी इन द इन द इन द क्राउड सॉर्ट ऑफ चेयरिंग बॉयज ऑन He's planning to no, go. No, I'm planning to go. I'm definitely him. planning to go. Uh, but I, I think India will make the cut. I, I. You, you think they'll make the cut? Yeah. Make the yeah. cut means go through okay. to the next round. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I mean, it, uh, again, ranking is not the best. You are Nikhil host. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 but so, so that's what I'm saying. Don't so they go through. Yeah. Two, 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 two will go through. Two go through. So your, and Thailand is the fastest improving team in Asia. Correct. But I, I, I mean, the best way to look at I mean, the India ranked higher than Thailand at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, India is also ranked higher than Bahrain at the moment. Uh, you never know. I, I mean, I, I'm gonna. Remember when we played Bahrain in 2011, right? We both were very, very short. हाँ, but then फिर पांच दो से आ रहे थे यार मजा आया मजा आया था उस गेम पे बीस तीस हजार इंडियंस थे स्टेडियम में बहुत मजा आया था इस बार भी ऐसा ही होगा भाई I am I am not looking uh, at uh, the Indian team qualifying I don't care I am actually looking at how they perform over the course of these three games अगर you lose win doesn't make a difference for me because हम उस लेवल पे आए नहीं हैं यार कि हम एक बड़े टूर्नामेंट में जा रहे हैं और हम सोच रहे हैं अब हम क्वालिफाय करेंगे अरे यू नीड टू प्ले दिस टूर्नामेंट्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस वंस यू स्टार्ट प्लेइंग देम ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस कैन यू से ओके नाउ वी विल क्वालिफाय नाउ वी विल प्ले द क्वार्टर फाइनल्स वंस इन अ ब्लू मून अगर हम पहुंच रहे हैं यू कांट एक्सपेक्ट द टीम्स नाउ क्वालिफाई सेकंड टाइम इन थ्री एडिशंस सेकंड टाइम इन थ्री एडिशंस वो तो टूर्नामेंट्स भी भाई एक्सपैंड होते रहेंगे ना जहां जब इंडिया फिट नहीं आएगा उसको इंडिया को फिट करने के लिए थोड़े और बना लेंगे 24 से 32 हो जाएगा फिर 48 हो जाएगा <laughs> कहीं ना कहीं से हम आ ही जाएंगे तो तो वर्ल्ड कप में भी होता ना ना यू हैव 48 टीम्स यू हैव 7 एंड अ हाफ टीम्स क्वालिफाई फ्रॉम एशिया बट बट अच्छा बट यू नो व्हाट नाउ नॉट जस्ट द सीनियर टीम इवन द जूनियर टीम्स आई थिंक लास्ट टाइम व्हेन वी स्पोक टुगेदर समवेयर ऑन द अदर आई थिंक वी सॉर्ट ऑफ अंडरस्टूड अ ब्लूप्रिंट ऑफ हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर अ बिग टूर्नामेंट वेदर इट बी द अंडर 16 बॉयज वेदर इट बी द अंडर 17 बॉयज और द सीनियर टीम समवेयर ऑन द अदर वी आर नॉट शूटिंग इन द डार्क नाउ कि पहुंच गए हैं जी वहां पे लंबी खेल दो बॉल और हाँ, देखी जाएगी exactly. अब एक थोड़ा ब्लूप्रिंट सा आ गया है एंड द आईएसएल ऑफ कोर्स हैज प्लेड अ बिग पार्ट इन दैट द प्लेयर्स आर इंटरैक्टिंग विद बिग प्लेयर्स बिग मैनेजर्स 
and it's slowly slowly coming so we're into four years of fifth year of the isl now yeah. we're into the year five of isl year 10 of the isl then you see where the national team is so for all the criticism that isl gets i i'd have to say that you know it has really helped in football you can clearly see it i mm. mean with that exposure i just one thing i wanted to say uh, i thought because we were discussing and i just said this morning we were discussing india and china i don't know if any of you read that the the ccc tv that com- uh, commentators quote and he said after the match that he saw india versus china and he said that i can't believe that um, you know almost one third of the world's population that is you know uh, how many is that how many uh, billion is that three billion he said with three billion we can produce these 30 players it's just like such a travesty to see these 30 players play for out of a total of three billion people so that is, i mean that's just putting into perspective of where kahan pe ha kya kya baat kar rahe hain hum actually sahi <laughs> sahi <laughs> bola sahi bola need to say he is not a very positive person which is why like, <laughs> invited him on the chat today <laughs> ah, no i i began positively but no, yeah. saying the cctv guy ah, okay. yeah choti choti cheezon mein mazel ho gaya hai there's no point comparing to the best in the world ha sahi hai and with that with those two perspectives one is where we actually are and the other that we it will take 10 15 20 years for us to get become a team that is exciting to talk about and fun to watch and follow until then it will be a lot of hard hard miles for the fans on the road to cover and 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 such like but it it'll be fun and we'll keep these chats going thanks guys for joining us yeah thanks thank you just send us a payment huh ha in se bhejwa dena in kind jab milenge agli baar so we'll we'll keep this uh, football conversation going guys thanks for joining us today and talk to you soon